Welcome to Abingdon and Whitney College. We have a very strong cohort of English and Maths students here who are an absolute delight to teach. We work very much on the premise of the power of yet because a lot of our students will turn up at college who feel as if they've failed previously and we work really hard to ensure that they lose that feeling and they start to work towards their qualification and their success. And the power of yet is really instilling in them the belief that they might not have achieved their qualification yet, but the more that they work towards it, then they will get it in the end. When you start school, you're put into groups based on what you previously got in primary school. And if you've got bad grades, you're put into a worse group. And if you've got good grades, you're put into a better group. And that almost automatically tells you that you're not as good as other students and your chances of passing aren't as great. And that really has a negative impact on you. When I went to get my GCSE results, I got good and bad results. English was my best where I got a C, and maths was my worst where I got an E. I was upset because I worked really hard to try and get my C. English is my second language. I found it difficult learning when I was growing up, so I failed it in, the, in school. I got a D, which made me very sad and angry at myself. I only went to school until about year eight and then I had to stop going due to illness. I came to this college when I should have been in year 11. I then took a gateway course which is like the step in between having no education and college. Then I got onto a level one course, took art and design and did my GCSE maths and English. Instead of putting me straight back in the deep end and taking me straight to GCSE when I started here at the start of last year, they offered me to do a functional skills. It took me five times to pass, but obviously I got there in the end. The difference in school compared to college is massive. Classroom is completely different. The amount of effort that everyone else puts in is, is different. In school, you don't really care. But in college, you're in an environment where people want to pass. I think that has a big influence on you. Well, when I was in school, I visited my careers advisor and um, I mentioned that it'd either be hairdressing I did or paramedic. And they looked at my predicted grades and um, they basically said I would struggle too much. But when I came to college and I started doing maths and functional skills, my confidence boosted because I obviously passed functional skills and I started speaking to my teacher about me being a paramedic and she was really helpful and she kind of like boosted my confidence a lot more in lessons she you know helped me and stuff because she knew I wanted to do it now so she took me under her wing. The college offer you loads of support you can have one-to-ones you can have your own personal tutor if you feel like the classroom isn't just enough teaching for you you can go back after for extra lessons to catch up on what you haven't learned. The one-to-one -one sessions work really well for me because it's where I realised that I was actually putting up a learning wall against myself and it kind of made me think more about my attitude towards learning. They helped me in English by um, they offered me extra time. They offered someone to read the questions in case I didn't know them or didn't know what it said. They um, said I could go to a room where it was just me and someone else so it's more quiet and less distraction. I was offered counselling, like one-to-ones, and they were just much more understanding than my school was about my illness. I think coming to college and finishing off your GCSEs is definitely a good idea. Don't just leave it just because you didn't pass. There's, there's definitely hope. It doesn't matter how many attempts it takes, you're eventually going to get it and you'll feel better once you've gotten it. Because of coming to college, um, I've realised that I have the confidence now to become a paramedic, fulfill my dream and that's because obviously teachers, they've helped me out a little bit more than they did in school and I've realised because of them that I can actually do it and I need to just stop thinking that I can't do it when I can.